Hey, what's up guys? Austin back with another rowing video. Now today we are going to talk about speed and how fast you should be rowing on a rowing machine in order to get the best workout. Now when we talk about speed here, we're talking about going up and down taking the strokes. How fast does that need to be? Now before we answer that, I want you to take a look at these two clips that I'm about to show you and I want you to tell me which one looks like the harder workout. So out of those two clips, which one looked like the more challenging rowing effort? Hopefully you chose the first one. And I did that there to give you an example to show you that the up and down speed of rowing does not really matter. Now when I say it doesn't matter, it depends on what you're training to do. If you're somebody who's just using rowing here as a way to help improve your fitness, you can row as hard as possible with as much intensity as possible at any stroke rate. Whether you're at 10 strokes per minute or 30 strokes per minute, you can be rowing with just as much intensity. But if you are a rowing athlete and you're trying to perform it, let's say like a 2,000 meter row, well there's a certain balance of having a high enough stroke rate as well as the, the power to keep a split low in order to row your fastest 2,000 meters. If we compare rowing to something like a treadmill, well, with a treadmill, all you really have to do is press a button and keep up with the belt, and you can change speed that way. But with rowing, we make the speed. It's up to you and only you to make your speed happen. And like I already said, you can be having a hard, intense workout at any stroke rate, and it really boils down to what we call stroke efficiency. Stroke efficiency really boils down to your connection with each rowing stroke that you take. Now I've done lots of videos covering how you can be the most connected with your stroke and how to get at the most out of each rowing stroke that you take and being able to provide as much force as you want to provide to the rowing stroke, that is what efficiency is all about. Like I showed you in the second clip, that one we were watching with the fast rowing, that was not a great example of rowing efficiency. That was just sort of going up and down, but being very disconnected with the rowing stroke. And so in that case, rowing faster wasn't necessarily better. So when you change stroke rate, which is the official term for speed, as far as going up and down, taking the strokes, which on the Concept2 monitor, you can either find in the top right hand corner or the bottom left hand corner. When it comes to changing this speed, we don't want to just bring the number up by going up and down faster. You want to transfer your stroke efficiency from the low rates and work up to the high rates. Because in the end, if you're not being efficient, you're not getting the most out of your workout. So how do you know if you're rowing efficiently or not? Well, start off by taking slow, low rate strokes, something under 20 strokes per minute. Now, if you're finding it difficult to even stay under 20 strokes per minute, that already means that you're probably not being as efficient as you can be. So really, slow your brain down, practice taking some consistent hard strokes at something under 20 strokes per minute. Then after doing that, Try to keep the same leg drive, the same swing back, the same pull with the arms, but then just take your recovery up a little bit faster. Raise your stroke rate to something like, I don't know, 24 strokes per minute. And then see if your split or watts or calories per hour, whatever setting you're using, see if that changes. If it's split, the number should be going down. If it's calories per hour or watts, that number should be going up. Now, if the number isn't changing by much, well, then that just goes to show that maybe your efficiency isn't as high as it could be and you would benefit from practicing strokes at a lower stroke rate. So when it comes to rowing speed, going up and down on the rowing machine, it is not about how fast you can go up and down. It's about how efficient you can be. I challenge you for your next rowing workout 
Try rowing for 10, 15 minutes straight at 16 strokes per minute, something super low, and do a strict 16 strokes per minute, but row that 16 strokes per minute as hard as you can. By the time you're finished, you're gonna feel exhausted, and you didn't even have to go up and down, up and down super fast. So we need to change our focus. It's not like a treadmill where you just press a speed and keep up with it. You have to make the speed here, and it comes down to being efficient with each stroke. You can row hard and intensely at 10 strokes per minute or 30 strokes per minute. So practice your efficiency. That is how you're gonna get the most out of each rowing workout. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave it a like. Let me know what you wanna see down in the comments below. Thanks for all of your support over the last couple weeks. The channel's getting close to 4,000 subscribers, and it's exciting to see all of this momentum keep going. So anyway, guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys next video.